Hello, welcome back to another Hi-Fi video. Oh, this is the wrong type of video. Uh, who remembers me uploading Pokemon TCG videos? Because I don't. It's been a very long time. Regardless, I bought some Pokemon cards because uh, I just hit 10,000 subscribers either today, tomorrow, or the day before. I don't know when this video is coming out. Regardless, I just want to thank all of you, and this is kind of a gift for you guys, uh, just to bring back some old school content that used to be on this channel before Pokemon cards became too expensive here in Canada. Regardless, I bought some Pokemon cards here. We got a uh, Primarina, whatever, I don't... Primarina. I don't really know how to pronounce the water starter too well. I didn't pick it, so I didn't really use it too often in the sumo games. Muck GX. Toxapex Full Art. And I think the GX just substitutes, so these ones would just be substitutes for what was EX. Uh, what used to be EX. And these are the Full Arts, and the Ultra Rare versions of these cards are the Rainbow Rares. We got some old school, it's Roaring Skies, I think, but uh, it's not too old school. But we got Altaria EX, Shiny Gyarados EX. I'm a Shiny Hunter, I like Shiny Pokemon. Got an old school, uh, it's not old school, it's from the Generation set, but it's a Misty's Determination Full Art. Uh, Misty is uh, one of the best girls in Pokemon, so that's why I got it. We got a Wayona Full Art. This used to be a very nice card, and I always wanted one when I saw it. I liked the trainers, uh, so I got it. And I spent about five three to five bucks per card here so it was pretty pretty good but the actual treat for you guys is I bought uh, these shining legendary shiny shiny legendaries shiny legends pin collection box I bought the Pikachu one and I bought the Mewtwo one so we're gonna open up those up and I hit my Raikou some of you might remember the Raikou I got that was around the boundaries crossed era if you guys remember the Boundaries Cross area era, that was a very good time for uh, card collecting. It wasn't too expensive yet, and um, very nice cards. I don't know how to... Okay, good. So here we got the Pikachu. Very nice promo. We got the pin. Nice pin. I, like, I do like collecting the pins, though most of the time I don't actually uh, get too many of them. We got a code card here, which I don't want, because it'll just end up being left in my room forever. So here you go. Alright, we got three packs here. We'll just put those right there. And then we're going to open up this Mewtwo box here real quick also. So I'm not too familiar with uh, how the new sets are nowadays. I watched Fox Noctum, a good guy. I've known him for a very, very long time since my channel started, even before then. Uh, I would watch him when he still did Pokemon stuff, but um, he uploaded one of these uh, a few days ago, and uh, he got a really, really nice pull. So uh, let's hope we can duplicate, but I don't really know what's in this set. I'm aware that there are some shiny legendary cards which look really good, like the uh, uh, Rayquaza. There's a Rayquaza shiny, which is nice. I would really like that. There's a few Rainbow GX cards as well, which, of course, anything above uh, just hollows would be nice for me. That's about all that's important. All right, so we got the three packs here. We got Genesect, Mew, and Mewtwo. And then right here, we got uh, Rayquaza, Mewtwo, and Mew. So, these pack look thicker than what they used to be like might be because don't they have an extra card or something so anyway I didn't mix them up this is the Mewtwo box this is the Pikachu box so we're gonna start the Mewtwo box here and like I said I'm not gonna be too picky about what I get now you guys can have the code cards I don't really want them I'm not too picky and I believe it's one two three I'm not too picky about what I get though it would be nice to get some ultra rares because that makes my binder look nice so we got the really weird uh, Venusaur Uncommon Ultra Ball. I think those are worth a little bit. Lifeguard, Ekans, Golette, Voltorb, Croconaw. Uh, no, that's not the reverse rare. Reverse rare Bulbasaur. And our rare is a Verizion uh, Hollow. Nice little card there. We got a Darkness Energy. So I'll just put that there. So we got a hollow, and uh, I believe the pull rates in this set are very similar to what uh, Radiant Collections and Dragon Exalted, not Dragon's Exalted, that set didn't have any rare cards, but it's very similar to 
uh, those other sets that used to come out in these kind of boxes, the really good sets. All right, we've got a Golurk, a Switch, Hau, Quillfish, Zorua, that's a very nice artwork, a Plusle, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, and a Reshiram Holographic, and then with a Water Energy right there. That's cool. We got the full evolution line in that uh, pack. That's that's neat. And the last pack here, Mewtwo. And here's the code card. Okay, we got Spear Tomb. Uh, Incineroar, that's funny, that's a funny picture. We got Sofo, Sof, Soflik, okay. Golet, Weasel, Scraggy, Crocodile, Jinx, Reverse Shroomish, and a Hollow Keldeo. So three Hollows, I think that's uh, pretty good. I'm not too sure about the pull rates uh, nowadays, but that's a Keldeo. All right, I'm just gonna make a quick cut in the video right here. All right, we head on to the second part, which is these three packs. We're gonna do the Rayquaza pack first. So we got three Hollows in the last one: Reshiram, Verzion, and Keldeo. Some Gen Five Legendaries there. And uh, we're just gonna open this up here. And like I said, it would be nice to get a more rarer card, but uh, you don't have much control over that. And that card was backwards. I wonder why. Hmm. Okay, so we're going one, two, three to the front. The card trick. All right, we got Damage Mover, Volcarona, Golurk, Voltorb, Breloom, Litten, Larvesta, Purloin, Reverse Electrode, which is uh, an uncommon and our rare, another Keldeo Holographic. That's a shame. It's not nice getting uh, duplicates, especially when the set is full of rarer cards. So our code is here. There you go. And one, two, three. All right, we got an Ultra Ball, uh, Carnivine, Arbok, Voltorb, Scraggy, Weasel, Minum, Stunfisk, Gar Reverse, Double Colorless. That's good. And a Verizion. All right, if we get a Reshiram, then. Uh, Fuck me. That's going to be a weird opening. <laughs> That's going to be a weird opening if I get back to, like, the two boxes had the exact same pulls in them. Cause that's going to be a slightly ridiculous. So, there you go. One, two, three. Alright, the last pack. Let's hope for some miracle. We got a Great Ball. Pokemon Catcher. Used to be good. Double Colorless, Voltorb, Crocona, Scraggy, Tor, a cat, that's a nice picture. Plusle, Warp Energy Reverse. Oh, that's a very nice Raikou. Uh, but there were no good pulls in this. So we got six out of six hollows, which, uh, depending on the which way you look at it, is good. But uh, the way I'm looking at it is not good because I wanted one of the better cards. So there we go. These are our pulls. We got two Verizions. Two Caldeos, a Reshiram, and a Raikou. So let's just go over that one more time. And let's just zoom in for you guys. Raikou. Reshiram. Caldeo. And Verizion. Anyway, I want to just thank all of you very quickly for the 10,000 subscribers. That is a lot of subscribers to be watching my channel. I know I've kind of changed content over the years from what originally was... Uh, these kind of videos into how to find but that's kind of where I've hit my stride um, I will be probably moving on to some generation 4 games coming up depending on if anyone else has done the videos for them yet but uh, hopefully you guys stay tuned for that and uh, keep up with uh, supporting the channel I do appreciate all the comments I do read through all of them and you know I, I read especially the ones on my Mewtwo videos those are fun to read but uh, regardless, thank you for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for whatever I post next. See ya.